Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanted to show you how you can set up your IDE and see your C++ compiler. Um, so today, we're going to be using uh, VS Code, uh, which is technically not an IDE, but it's specialized enough with extensions. So we're going to be downloading VS Code, um, and we're also going to be using MinGW64 uh, for Windows. So if you want to get VS Code, you can just search it up. It's right here. There's a download for Windows. Um, I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. But it'll download an installer, and all you have to do is run that installer, and then you'll have VS Code. Uh, next thing is MinGW. So uh, I actually have a hard time finding this a lot, so I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys this link. So go to this link. You can get it straight from SourceForge. And then it'll bring you here, and then go to the Files tab. So under the Files tab, uh, there's a lot of pre-built binaries. You can try installing this installer. Uh, sometimes it won't work. So what I like to do is there's a bunch of pre-packaged zip files right here. And I've downloaded the uh, this one, which is the POSIX style threads uh, with structured exception handling. But if you don't really care about what sort of or what specific APIs or libraries your compiler is using, you can download any one of these. Uh, just make sure it's for the right architecture. So I just downloaded this one. And if I pull up my file explorer, you can see it's right here. And inside the zip file, there's a bunch of, bunch of stuff. So actually, if we go right here, uh, there's our GCC right there, and there's G++. So I've already actually unzipped it because I've been using it. So I've unzipped it to this location. And then you can add this to the Windows path. So you have to add, I added this, this directory to path so that it'll, uh, I'll be able to access all of these binaries through a PowerShell or a command prompt. So make sure to add that through path. It's available in edit system environment variables on Windows. Um, and then if I go into VS Code, you can see that, yeah, if I get the command of G++ or GCC, you can see that's exactly where they're located in, in uh, wherever I extracted those. Uh, so that's just something good to know. Another thing about uh, MinGW is that right now it's a pre-built ones. Uh, they go up to GCC 8.1.0. But if you want the absolute latest version, there's some source files here. This button, uh, it has MinGW 64.11.0.0. Uh, so if you want the absolute latest version, you can always download the source, but you'll just have to compile it yourself. Um, and then one last thing in VS Code is if you want a support for like C and C++. Microsoft provides some extensions. So I'm using this extension right now. This is the official one from Microsoft. And it provides a lot of great uh, language features for C++. So if you want IntelliSense, like auto completion, a lot of uh, highlights and semantic tools, then you should install this extension too. And that's also, that's basically what I'm using for all my videos. So if you want to get set up, this is the way to go. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.